Hi, Tara here. I just wanted to do an update on how the decluttering is going while I make lemonade for my kids who I just picked up from camp who said they want lemonade. They, they want lemonade because we went to a neighbor's lemonade stand and garage sale yesterday. Oh, I'm just gonna get the honey. And the lemonade there tasted so good and she has, she's like a beekeeper too and they have in their backyard hives and they collect the honey. So anyways, she put the honey in the lemonade and it was so good. So yeah, I bought a jar of honey. She just puts it in whatever container. She gives it for free for Christmas. Um, but she wanted to encourage her children to, you know, if they put the work in to make the lemonade stand and sell the honey, then they can get half of the profit and all the rest of the profit from the garage sale all went to a, a charity and she had three bins, which I thought was a nice idea, each which is a different name of a charity. So you could decide when you bought something, which, which plastic container with a slit on top you wanted to make a donation to. I know one was like a food bank, one was um, our school district fund that supports uh, all the schools in our school district. And the other one was a local, it's kind of like a local farm that has activities that kids can go do, nonprofit. So anyways, yeah, with the honey, it tasted really good. I don't really think of putting honey, especially not like fresh honey in the lemonade, but it tasted really good. So yeah, I just wanted to, as I'm making the lemonade, just chat a little bit about how this decluttering process is going move this a little more so you can see me with the lemons, but still see my face. I think that's good. Yeah, so I think in my last video I said I was a little over ambitious when I said maybe doing 280 items in one day. Really, I think you should keep it to like 50 to 100. I know there's a challenge where you do one item one day, two items the next day, and you do that for a whole month and kind of build up momentum. I think saying I was gonna do it in five days. I kind of felt after three days a bit burnt out and I didn't want to do necessarily consecutive days. I almost felt like after three days I needed a rest. Mm -hmm. But things are getting done. Let me open the door for my dog. Okay, yeah, let's go. I was able to give the one of the, old, the kids' old Zuka bags, those rolling backpacks, to Goodwill because my daughter had a new one and for some reason I was just keeping an old one in my closet forever, thinking like if something happened to the new one, she would still have her old one, but it's just taking up space in the closet, so I really don't need to have that extra Zuka. The umbrellas. Oh, Alex, I'm recording. Can you hold on a sec? I'm making the... Okay, so my son ran down the stairs and he wanted to make the lemonade, so we just did that. So I'll keep talking while I'm enjoying this lemonade. And then I'm gonna make a second batch because it wasn't like all that much. Yeah, and he wanted to use a strainer to remove any of the pulp once we use this to squeeze the lemons. And yeah, with we ended up using some of the white grain sugar and some honey, about two large spoonfuls of this honey. Yeah, I have to say it tastes really good. So yeah, for the decluttering, I feel like I'm gonna get my other, what I'm at. Uh, I have like over a hundred items I still have to do. I have to see what the count is right now, whatever the last video um, I said. But yeah, maybe it's like about 150 items left. I think I'm gonna get them out of my closet. I still have a lot of stuff in my closet. I think what I'm gonna do, because I do like my pajamas, is have two pajama drawers, but that means I have to reduce the amount that I have in another drawer. Or maybe it'll be like one and a half drawers for my pajamas. We'll see about that. And I still have a lot more books in my son's room that I can, I think if there's like maybe kind of less selection, he'd be more likely to read than if they're all like shoved in his little organizer bin. And I know there's some that he's already read and he's probably not gonna go back and read. So yeah, I plan to continue decluttering because like I said, it does get stressful when there's a lot always around me, especially like these big items. So it felt 
good to get rid of some of these bigger items. And what's amazing is I still feel like the house is sort of cluttered. So I probably, I can definitely continue with the challenge. It just gets a bit slower as I go. What I, I can continue actually like add maybe another, I don't know, 200 items once I've hit my 555. Yep. And I was thinking about my cat when we're going to be traveling. We have neighbors that usually look after our cat, but you know, in the summer months when it's hot, I think what we're gonna have is, cause our cat is an indoor outdoor cat. So I was thinking maybe someone can check up on our cat like every other day. So he can spend one day, like someone could let him out in the morning and then someone else will let him out in the evening. But then with hot weather, weather, I think it would be good if he actually gets let out every other day. I mean, he has a litter box in here, so I think he'd be more comfortable with that. And when we travel, my parents can um, take care of our golden doodle, but I feel like our seven-year-old cat, who's just so used to the territory around here, will want to, you know, still be in his normal environment and I worry if we brought him to my parents' house and he's wandering around outside, like he could get lost and he's not familiar with the area. And they also have a little bit more like car traffic. I mean, we do here too, but I think our, our cat knows exactly to avoid like the busy streets. Whereas where my parents live, I can see the cat kind of wandering and just not knowing where there's gonna be cars and there's sort of like a freeway um, entrance, like not too far from them. Mmm, this is good. Okay, so I'm gonna make a second batch. And what else can I chit chat about? Oh yes, I was having this thought when I was decluttering. Have you seen that movie Spirited Away? It was in 2001, it's a Japanese animated film. I'll have to add the link of the, the director. He's made a lot of movies really good. Anyways, I was kind of thinking when I was cleaning, like having this vision, it's like almost like the house is throwing up. Well, in the movie, there's a scene where the spirit comes to a day spa and the girl in the movie, like she finds it's got like a thorn in it when it's at the water bath or you know, like relaxing and she unplugs this thorn and like all this like bicycles come out and like furniture and it's a funny scene. But I was just, while I was decluttering, kind of thinking that sort of what's happening to my house. Like just things are have to be <laughs> up chucked and out, out to create some space in my house. And this has been like a long time coming. And even when my husband and I were engaged, he's like, you know, you should really try to be a little bit neater and not like have so much stuff coming in. And, you know, with kids, everything kind of, it's exponential like how much you need when you have young kids but now that my kids are a little older we don't need to have all that stuff so yeah i was having that image as i was cleaning and decluttering whoops okay so here we go pouring in the lemon we have a lemon tree so it's very convenient and now that we got the honey from the honeybees down the street from my neighbor who collects that. It just adds like a really nice flavor. I must be eating some cl clovers because yeah, the, the taste of the honey and the lemonade is just really good. And I'm gonna put some ice. Um, we don't have any more of the granulated sugar. So this one, I'm gonna get a fresh spoon. I'm gonna put some honey, some ice, and I have brown sugar. So my daughter wants some with Oh, my daughter wants some without honey. Okay, so I just gave her one cup that's got with honey. So this one I'm going to make just with some brown sugar because that's what I got. I just watched a video on YouTube of the, uh, is it Borda twins? I have to see if I said that right. But anyways, very interesting. And I like how they just have like a chit chat at the table, very much like comfortable vlog style. So yeah, I said, I'm gonna make a lemonade and I'm just gonna stay with some of mine. Okay, 
I'll do the ice and the brown sugar. You'll hear the ice coming out of the fridge. I mean, for me, I don't like things too sweet. But I think if I don't make it sweet enough, my daughter's going to say it's too tart. Okay. I should try some just to make sure it tastes good. Yeah, I think it's perfect. A good amount of lemon flavor, not too sweet, but not too tart. Okay. So I'll let her know some more is ready. Do you want to see my, oh my gosh, my closet right now is so messy. I was pulling out a lot of things. Went camping recently on a sleeping bag. So you know what? Actually, I have two sleeping bags that are in the house right now. So I definitely want to keep one. I think another one I'm going to give away. That can be one of the items I give away. It just didn't feel like quite so warm. And the other one I'm going to put in my attic. Okay, I decided that I'm going to show you what my closet looks like right now in the laundry room. And other areas that I want to tackle. Oh, and so my bathroom, remember I was cleaning the, the locked up closet down here. So I just have a little bit more on the counter that I have to go through to put away, but not so bad. Most of it has been put away. I still have some paperwork to go through. I have this kind of like a beach theme, ocean theme room. I like that one. I like that painting. It's actually on wood. I like it because it reminds me of teamwork when the, the men are there working together on the sailboat. I just like this one of the dolphins underwater. This is our like crawl space under our stairs. We have some movies, we have some books, we have some shelving that has to... I mean this is better than it looked like a long time ago on our DVD and all that stuff. This is the sleeping bag that has to, I have to get rid of this one, I don't need this one. I didn't know how cold I would be. We have some like nice warm sleeping bags that my parents, we don't usually go camping, but we, uh, friends invited us and I just want to make sure we were extra warm. I didn't want to be cold. So I ordered like those hand warmers for my hand. I have that hot water bottle that you fill up with like the boiling water or almost boiling water that has a felt top to keep us warm at night. And yeah, I just got some extra sleeping bags, but one of them was like really warm, worked out well. And this red one is, I'm not so crazy about it. So I don't need to keep that one. Up we go. View to our yard. Some rose bushes down there. The big tree is a fig tree. And we have an orange tree and a tangerine tree. <laughs> a nice painting. Oh, it looks like Haley got into something. Pen. She loves chewing up pens. Haley. We just recently started to allow her to come upstairs. Okay, the never-ending laundry pile. It seems, it's like I'm always running it multiple times a day. We have these front loader ones I like. Still have to put away everything that's here on the counter. 
Haley just running off with a squishmallow. Um, Haley, Haley, I don't know if that's yours. Come in. <laughs> I see a lap like she's helping me declutter because if she gets it and she bites it, then I have an excuse to throw it away. Oh, here's a few more jewelry pieces that I wanted to give away. Can add that to the pile. And then you see how yeah, my closet is not that big. And right now things just got piled in here, like boxes. Oh, this box actually would be perfect to mail some pins into Amazon for Amazon FBA. I'm gonna use this. It's a good size box. I have a couple more brooches and pins I wanna mail to them. And it takes a while, you know, before they get it and they get it in their inventory. So you wanna make sure you have stuff there before the really busy Christmas season. I mean, we still have time, but they do get really busy if you wait till October, November. So then your stuff might not get in on time for all the holiday sales. Okay, come on, look at this. <laughs> Another Squishmallow. I had one that was a little smaller. I thought I was ordering the same size as the one we already had. My kids both want to bring it when it's like stuffed animal to school day. So I got a second one because there were a lot of tears some mornings because technically it was my daughter, but my son started to bring it and then he wanted to bring it again, but then my daughter wanted to bring it. It's like, oh my gosh, I'll just get you another one. Now this is interesting. I don't know if I'm just gonna give this away. I'll probably just keep a couple. Uh, one of the, so if you send something to Amazon and it doesn't sell very well, I thought these tiger pins would do well because it's like the year of the tiger, the Asian calendar. Um, my mom said these look a little scary. Do you think these look a little scary? I think they're cool. Well, anyways, they didn't sell very well. So either you, Amazon will destroy them or like send them back to you. And I'm like, well, just send them back to me. I mean, maybe I paid a little bit for having them sent back to me. But yeah, if your inventory is not moving fast enough, they don't want to hold on to it. And that was actually the first pin I listed on Amazon. So my first one was a flop. Yes, and I have things in my bathroom. See, things hanging, drying. My counter looks, you know, totally cluttered because as I was going through the items I was decluttering, I was just opening all the drawers and pulling out all the jewelry, all the stuff so I could see what I can give away. So that's what I gotta continue doing. And I'm sure I can get like another 200 items done. So I will put all the items I find on a table downstairs. And before I'm done, Today, I will show you what items are leaving the house. So thanks for joining me. Give it a thumbs up if you like this, you know, kind of just vlog style as I'm going about my plans for day or just randomly what's on my mind as I'm making lemonade for my kids. And uh, yeah, I wish you all health and happiness and a productive time decluttering your home to make a peaceful environment because it's definitely like a work in progress. But I think if we just start and get the ball rolling, then little by little, our homes are gonna look more peaceful and we'll feel less stressed. Bye for now.